Hello, this is professional video game expert Tim Rogers. You are watching Kotaku.com. Today we've got Superflight. It's on Steam! Now, I know what you're thinking, so I'll clarify right at the top here. No, Superflight is not in any way affiliated with the album Superflight by the Japanese jazz fusion band Cassiopeia. Superflight is only $2.99. That's less than $3. It's actually on sale for 10% off right now, 10% being 30 cents. That means it's $2.69. Now that's what I call a nice value. Superflight is cheaper than a bank bad cup of coffee. Whoa, it runs at 4K. If we use a calculator, we can determine that that's, uh, 1.4869888475836438643K per dollar. Compare this to Assassin's Creed Origins, which at $60 is $15 per K. Superflight is a technical flight exercise brain toy. In Superflight, you fly at a high speed. You move by using the arrow keys, WASD, or a controller's analog stick. The movement is luscious and scrumptious. You earn points by flying close to obstacles. If you touch any of these obstacles, even a little tiny baby bit, you immediately die. That's it. In Superflight, you do two things. You fly and you enjoy flying. Also, you die. Superflight is a dangerous tango of gravity and geometry. The levels are procedurally assembled. Around every corner of every level is another tiny gap that'll make you think, I bet I can fly through that. And you can fly through that. When you die, you get to start again in the exact level of where you died. I like this. This means you can die over and over and over again, trying to perfect your opening move for maximum score. When gravity enacts its inevitable effect upon your wingsuit flight and you find the bottom of one abstract gauntlet, you descend through the clouds, spawning another big, chunky, blocky wingsuit Tony Hawk skate park freestyle playground mountain. And so, around and down, your flight can continues, possibly forever. I love this game. It has no story. It has no characters. I'm definitely never going to say something so sensational as games are better without stories. Though Superflight is definitely excellent, and it definitely doesn't have a story, it makes me honestly feel like video games are definitely better than ever in 2017. Here, for less than $3, we have a game that encapsulates the sort of mechanic someone would say is the best part of a huge AAA game. It serves us this mechanic on a silver platter. It says, here is the video game you requested, your grace. Years ago, I theorized about the video game equivalent of a Burberry scarf. I called this the luxury video game. A luxury item, if you ask me, is precision engineered to be delightful to think about, beautiful to look at, and wonderful to touch. This theoretical luxury video game is as mechanically simple as a mobile game, yet rich enough in technique and gorgeous enough in graphics to demand a big-time home theater setup. Superflight is an example of that sort of game. Wow, it'd be neat if we had a lot more games like this. Superflight is like a lucid dream without the basketball court or the guy who plays Jon Snow on Game of Thrones. It's as relaxing as it is invigorating. It's just you, some wings, an abstract mountain, and the sound of the wind, and a cash register adding up your points. The developers didn't even put any music in the game. That's neat! You can open up a YouTube tab in your web browser and play any music you want. I'm gonna go ahead and recommend the album Super Flight by Japanese jazz fusion band Cassiopeia. Super Flight's current review status on Steam is overwhelmingly positive. I consider this proof that maybe humanity is going to be okay someday. It's even got achievements! Oh, oh no. Aw oh, man, aw oh, man, man, aw oh, heck, aw oh, darn. Oops! I played this game for exactly a half an hour for the purposes of making this video. I am going to go home and play it some more on the 65-inch 4K TV in my living room. Uh-oh! 65 inches of Superflight in 4K and 60 FPS? That sounds like a recipe for vomit soup. Follow me on Twitter where I'll tweet OOPS tonight immediately after I throw up on myself. Wow, Superflight. I like it so much I am going to ruin my clothes. How did I ever get so dedicated to video games? Oh, I know why. I was born stupid. However, I will not die hungry. Video games forever, Kotaku.com.
And now it's time for the bottom line. Superflight is like eating only macaroni and cheese at an all-you-can-eat buffet restaurant. When you ask for the check, the waiter says, Didn't you see the sign that says, Customers who do it right eat free? <laughs>